Welcome all, this is my first playthrough of The Wolf Among Us, and let's jump right in. Episode 1, Faith. This game series adapts to the choices you make, the story is tailored by how you play. Today again, if you missed it, a uh, record for the date. Hottest ever in June. Uh, 103 now, and that humidity looks low. But remember, the hotter the air is, the more moisture it can hold. So 103 with 31% humidity is a lot more humid than say 73 with. Can't believe I've never played this. And it is muggy out there. Mr. Toad? Oh, shit. Big B! Listen, mate, I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I get it. I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Cross my arm. No need to kick up a fuss. Mm. <laughs> well, we'll let it slide. I like the guy, I don't know why. Look, no harm done give you a pass but listen if you can't afford to look human you're going to the farm it's as simple as that you can't send me up to live with those animals you know what I mean go see a witch get a glamour big B they're bleeding me dry mate the quality of the spout goes down but the rates keep climbing up do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour Ugh, get it fixed. I'm gonna make the rules. Make the rules. Sorry. I can't give you a free pass on this, Toad. My hands are tied. Right, right. There's too much at stake. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. Fuck it out! See? This is what I told you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna stand there, do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place. So, what, I walked into? what am I walking into exactly? A woodsman's on another bender. He's been going on like that for hours. Turn this place to dust if you let him. He's in a fucking rage. <laughs> this is the last straw, Big B. He has to go. I'm heading up. Fine. I'm heading up. Get your glamour. Furry prick of shite. Tell me how to spend my money. Dad, the lights are shaking again. What did I say? You want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. Then get that fuck back inside. <laughs> Sheesh. You're gonna know who I fucking am, you hear me? Goodness. Hey, look at me! Just stop, okay? You're drunk. Let's go. Uh, how do I use it? Hey, 
Take a look. Take a good look. Know who I am now? Hey, look at me! God damn you! No whoa, 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 hey, don't... hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid <laughs> I'll fucking kill you! Gloves, everyone calm down. All right, everyone. <laughs> what are you gonna fucking do, huh? Get the fuck out of the way before you get the ass. It's your last warning. Woody, this is your last warning. If you keep on like this, I won't have any choice but to put you down. Put me down? You got a shit fucking memory, Wolf. That's not how it went last time. This isn't last time. Oh, shoot, shoot. Oh. I'm embarrassed I missed that quick time event. Had enough? At least it's a fucking challenge. Oh, goodness. Right in the throat. Oh. That was stressful. I promise I'm going to get better at those events. You should probably get out of here. Look, I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting sick, bitch. I'll fucking put you on the ground. Shut up. Oh, fucking shit. You bogged my jaw, you bastard! And still you talk. Fuck you. Shit. What happened? What the hell is going on? What happened? A little misunderstanding that turned into a real shit show. Don't worry, you saw the best bits. There's more where that came from, girly. Knock it off! Look, this is just the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. Are you all right? I'm hunky-dory. Thanks for asking. Why was he hitting, hitting you? Maybe you should ask him that. I will, but I asked you first. He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. He started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hun? I'm the woodsman, you whore. I saved Little Red Riding Hood from this monster. I cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of <laughs> stones and threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid bitch. Hey, what did I say about that word? <laughs> Come on. Man. Ah, shit. <clears throat> hey, 
Hey, Toad. My car. Yeah. I'm s Give me a second. I'm sorry. Oh, no, by all means. Take your time. Make yourself comfortable. Uh, sorry about the car. We ended up going out the window. It couldn't be avoided. I can't be mad at you. I called you, and you come to help. I can't be mad. But even when you help, things end up more fucked than they started. Well, at least you're not fucking dead. Gosh dang. I swear I'm just spamming the button. You <laughs> to kill me. Uh, I wonder if that was supposed to happen. Let me, sorry, let me turn on subtitles real quick. What are you doing? I'm just getting what he owes me. You all right back there? I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. Great. The guy's got an axe in his brain. He's not feeling that. It's more from me. He'll be. I'll kill you, you fucking bitch. Let me help you. <laughs> Yeah. He's having a bad day. That makes two of us. I guess it's a good thing fables are hard to kill. Suppose it is. These lips are sealed. Sorry. Hey, you like my ribbon? Hmm, beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you. Feel like we've met before. We probably have. We all sort of knew each other at one point or another. But things change, I guess. I guess. Shit. Stop. We don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. Are you sure? Uh, he's had enough. For tonight, at least. Wouldn't be surprised if he has an axe to grind, though. That wasn't intentional. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, 
How much was it he owed you? A hundred. I'm guessing it'd be bad for you to show up empty-handed. I'll be fine. Ooh. We'll give her some money. Let's see. I've got... Uh, it's 20, 40, 7, 8, 58. It's all I got. Uh, it'll help, right? Take it. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. Just take the money, okay? You Anyone needs it. Out of a bad situation back there. Thanks. Anyone needs it. It's Toad. Need a statement. I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office then. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. How do you know where I? You live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. Good to know. You should get cleaned up. You look like shit. And I don't use that term lightly. Some of these look pretty bad. I clean up okay. I'll believe it when I see it. Hey. I need to tell you something. What is it? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. I'll see you around, Wolf. See ya. What a way to start the game. So embarrassed about those quick time events. Started off pretty rough. Woodland Luxury Apartments. Luxury Apartments? Wish they wouldn't advertise that. Who's there? Come on out. Come on out. All right. All right. Beauty. Hello, Big B. I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this looks a little odd, yeah. but there's an explanation. I Why did swear. you hide? Why'd you hide? Well, I didn't know who it was. You can't be too careful these days. No, can't. Damn it, I'm late. Hmm. 
Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. He worries too much as it mm. is, and it would just make my life a lot easier. Just please. I'm staying out of it. Look, whatever it is, it's between you and Beast. I'm staying out of it. I don't have time to go into it right now. I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. It's not what you might be thinking. Sleeping on the job. Hey, you wink? Hmm, probably for the best. Been a while since I got any mail. Seventh day in a row. Bigby, hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Um, how awkward. Oh. Look at so, the. I don't want to lie to the guy. Stay out of it. I'm staying out of it. Out of what? Whatever it is, Beast. I'm not a marriage counselor. Damn it. Something's going on. I hate that. Man. Bluebeard's file. Bluebeard. Never trusted this guy. <laughs> Bluebeard a pirate? <laughs> okay, I can't think of anything else that he would be. Don't even remember ordering that. Probably a bad sign. Well, hello. Oh, hey, 
Hey, Big B. I'm in your chair, huh? There's only the one. I've only got the one. So, yeah. Got a smoke? Thanks. A couple thousand more of these will be even on that house you owe me. This has got to stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Bigby. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Don't be a pain in the ass. I'll tell you what I told Toad. And what's that? I can't give you a free pass. Lectured by the big bad wolf. He must have loved that. That for me? Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh, it would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. Just want some rest. If that was all you were saying, I'd be able to get some rest. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. So, everyone hates me. Nah, I'm just giving you shit. I'm doing my best here. Clearly that is not true. What with the selfishness with the bourbon. But, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. <laughs> Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. Mondays? I don't need advice from a pig right now. Don't shoot the messenger. Or eat the messenger. Whatever it is you do. You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Not everyone. Name one. There was a girl. Uh, I don't actually know her name. Awesome. Great example. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Just give sense. me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut eye before I... Look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. How am I supposed to say no to that guy? That face. Thanks, Big B. Never drink out of that again.
coming, I'm coming. Big B. Snow. Come with me. Snow. Snow. What? Sorry, I'm. What is it? What's happened? What happened? I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to. Hi. Hello. Good morning or evening. <laughs> yeah. Awkward. These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. Grab it. Oh no. You knew this girl? Is she's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought. I knew everyone in Fable Town. She mm. familiar. I can't place her though. A working girl? A working girl? I don't I mean, I'm a working Oh. The woodsman. He attacked her, I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just... terrible. Found her. So, who found her? I did. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with. Then, I came to get you right away. No one else was with you? No. Big P, did one of... us? Do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. I'll have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. She was supposed to come see us at our apartment. Strange cut. What did this to her? What could do something like that? Either something very sharp or something with magic attached to it. Something what? in her mouth. symbol here. Huh. I I don't recognize it. Neither do I. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. What kind of monster would do this? I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. A lot. Um, what... what do you want to do next? 
Let's investigate some more. We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. Some blood over here. Maybe. Is it gonna let me look at it? Just some loose trash. Yep, more blood. Someone might have gotten caught on this climbing over the fence. signs that it's been here long. Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. Blood. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour maybe. Gotta have something to do with the blood on the fence. All right. Anything this way? No, it doesn't look like it. You should hurry. We don't have much time left. We should head back inside soon. What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? How did this happen? This is a message. Huh? This is a message. A message? I don't know, Big P. I get complaints at the office all the time, but... Just what about this makes you think that? A severed head on the door. Whoever did this isn't Our exactly steps. hiding it. The placement of the head? It's exact, purposeful. She was placed here precisely for us to find. All of us. Well, yes. I guess you're right. The killer wanted us to know what they had done. I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. I know you don't like him, but he's our boss. This is part of the job. It's the right thing to do. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. What are you blind? What, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck here? you like. I work here. And what great work you do, sheriff. Hmm. That didn't feel very genuine. Fucker. Yes, I see. I, I... Because you are the one who 
one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly mm -hmm. around here. This is a disaster. Who else is to blame if not you? It isn't anyone's fault. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, is that how you see things? Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. The woodsman is a person of interest. From what we've been able to gather, he was last seen with the victim. The woodsman? That drunk wretch was the cause of this? It's a lead. Nothing certain yet. Well, find him. Get him in here if that's all you have to go on. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fabletown knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Goodness gracious. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. You know what? Stop. We'll get on it right away, sir. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. We sure will. He gets morning massages? Who gets a massage this early? Crane. It doesn't really matter the time of day. A mere scent of stress and he's out the door. Is... is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Buffkin! <laughs> Hello, Miss Snow. The way he was holding it. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? Oof, not great. It hasn't been a great morning, Buffkin. Sorry. Eh, not your fault. Thanks for asking, though. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buffkin finds them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Hello, Vivian? Hi. Crane's schedule seems to have filled up for the rest of the day, and he's coming in early for his appointment. Worth a try. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. Worth a try. Hey, Magic Mirror, I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history and rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. If you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. 
Of which fable do you wish to know? The Woodsman. Show me the Woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The Woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. Oh no. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. I like Buffkin. He's probably my favorite character so far. Really cool art style. The way I like the way everything's done way back in there. It's pretty sweet. Uh, somebody hanging from a tree. from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad. He probably wrote this in himself. Didn't miss anything, did I? No. It was the ring she had. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alerlairo? I'll go look it up. Alelairo. Means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin, also known as <laughs> ass skin. <laughs> <laughs> prefers to go by the name Faith. <laughs> uh, Bufkin, he cracks me up. Commentary. The story of donkey skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Uh, his daughter, Faith. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Hmm. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than Her we... name was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. You think he did it? Mm, can't rule him out. But we also have to notify him, so... No, I don't. But we need to let him know about his wife.
Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. We already know her name, but feel free to have a look if you like. Beauty in happier days. And her man, Beast. Funny. Colin and his brothers. Yeah, that's her all right. Long time ago. I haven't seen Badger around for a while. He likes his privacy, I think. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. Nice hat. Dude, Toad looks like he used to be so fancy. Ichabod Crane. Scared shitless. What's that? Your boss. His finest moment. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Well, maybe it's time that changed. Mm. Me. And him. The woodsman? Yep. And his axe. And the two of them. <laughs> I wonder what the story was. Mm, now what? I meant to talk to him, keep checking myself out. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, able, blah, blah, blah about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? Show me Faith's father, the old king. Guess that crosses him off the suspect list. Absolutely. Show me. Show me Faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, baby. It's simply the way this has to be. Same thing she was saying. He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. Whoa. What's he been doing? Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. Sorry, I have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I... He is. Hold on. Bigby, it's for you. For us. Bigby, it's me, Toad. You there? What do you want? Bigby, shit. Listen, right, there's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Bigby, before he... Oh, well, hang on. Boy, shit. Hey! What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. No, not Toad. Whenever you're ready. We we already busted up his car and Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know, it's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help too. Well, where to first? I want to go to Toad's. Big, big shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. 
Toad sounds like he needs help right now. We can check in on Prince Lawrence after. Okay. I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. And we ended up going out the window, and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. Looks worse than the day. How long did it take us to get there? Is somebody up there? Wait here. Enough, all right, just shut it. Oh, no, not little toad. Helen doesn't make this much of a mess. I don't even remember half of this shit. Toads, I think. Be nice in there, okay? I do feel bad for a son the way Toad's been talking to him. Hey, Toad, you in there? <laughs> Big B and Miss White. Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this, but thanks for coming. Much appreciated. There was someone, but they took off when we got here. Is that right? I guess your dad's ears have a year or two left. Haven't gone totally to the dogs, eh? Poor little toad. Are you alright? Oh, he's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than walker, just like his dad. Wanna... So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. But it was nothing, really. Someone was here, and something's going on. Just so this trip wasn't a complete waste of time, I'm gonna look around a bit before we leave, okay? The longer you talk, the longer this takes, so just stand over there and shut up. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. Whew. Grown-ups. Am I right? That's right. Uh, hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? It has a weevil. Cool. The way he walks. So cute. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. This happened. Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh huh. The lamp just fell off the table. All well, the boy was faffing about, playing salts and saltfish. Who knows with the lad? The 
Their lock's busted, too. This place is falling apart. Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. Oh, for Christ's sake, the fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Toad, what are you hiding? There's some marks here on the windowsill. And what's that about? No real reason. Just last night, when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. And <laughs> I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. Hmm. You heard uh, the new uh, Shaking Stevens album yet? If you're gonna say something, out with it. But you wouldn't need keys, since the lock's broken, so... Why'd you climb in through the window? Huh? Why'd you climb in through the mm. window? You said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. Got him. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Fucking hell. Just what are you on about, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head, that's all it was. I forgot the fucking handle was fucking busted. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing you bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that. Is there blood on the wall? Cut yourself coming in the window. Why is that? It's blood, still fresh. Oh well, I cut me end. <laughs> Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Sounds painful. Oi! Don't you go mothering now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks of being a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. Oops. Though most people think they are. Uh-huh. How's it going? No hiding something, but I don't know what yet. Did the kid say anything? No, nothing really. He was really upset though earlier. He won't say why. Hmm. Something's going on. Stay with the kid until I figure out what. Let's talk to him. Yeah, it's an awful mess. Forgot where I kept my uh, first aid. Toad, I know you're lying about the door. Fucking hell, Big B, I forgot my keys. Can't a grown frog just forget his latch for a bit? This wood might have rotted, but it just made the kicking it in part easier. I know you, Toad. You'd sleep in your smashed up car's glove box before you think to climb in the fucking window. Come clean. Look, you want me out of here, I want out of here. Just come clean. What's going on? Place needs a little brooming, that's all. <clears throat> Do we miss something? Oh, right here on the floor. There's more blood over here. On the poker? Yeah. What happened? Oh, well, that's... That's how it happened, didn't it? Oh, I was I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. Okay, Sheriff. Now what? Wait. You dropped it on your foot? You told me before that you cut your hand. Yeah, no. I did cut my hand. 
I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> a ruinous flip of events, really. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. This apartment's a goddamn mess, Toad. Looks like after a struggle or a fight, and I don't know why you cover for it, but I know you're lying about something. But I'm not. And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. Surely nothing else, right? Never been good with the feminine duties. Own body stuff with my clumsy hands. Just tell me what's going on. I don't want to have to get tough with them. I don't, I don't know if I just have to. Absolutely have to. clean space in the dust. Did you move something? Oh, uh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there, of all the blooming pointless inquiries? It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because it wasn't on that table, Toad. There isn't any room in the electric outlets. Huh? What are you- It was plugged in over here, and now it's there. I, I did some refiguring. Who fucking cares? And not plug it in? Come on, Toad. I just hadn't gotten around to it yet. You see how many damn plugs there are? Bigby. Come on, I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon, just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... this sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I call, really I am, but will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet? No one fought anyone, Bigby. There wasn't any scrap. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here, in my own bloody home. It's not seemly. When? When you start telling me the truth, Toad? Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? Toad, these stories have made no sense. You didn't cut yourself on the poker. You didn't forget your keys. You didn't bump the lamp off the table. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me, I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? Oh, Mr. goodness. Toad, you're bleeding. Take off the hat. <sighs> it was that. Butcher, a, a Tweedle, Dame or D. You gotta strip them down to their Johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. <sighs> it's been a hard morning, I could tell you that. You know where the Tweedle went? He mentioned something about Prince Lawrence's. I don't know if he'd already been there was going there, but he said something about it. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. 
Uh, sometimes. <laughs> well, don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. We'll merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. I'm glad we were able to do that without having to get rough with them. No, I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Do you want to try and give it to him, or...? Uh, Don't make it a dilemma. I mean, if it belongs to him, we'll give it to him. Doesn't seem right opening another man's mail. Let's try and give it to him. Okay. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. TJ. I like them. Does it always go that smoothly? Not often. So, the prince is now? Lawrence is, yeah. It's our best lead. Our only lead, really. When he put it that way. Mm, but the Tweedles have already been there. So I probably won't find much. I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. We're here to question Lawrence. Bump him up on the suspect list or cross him off entirely. Okay. What is it? I just... I just don't think he did it. In cases like these, isn't it usually the husband? For Mondays, maybe. But this is different. Can you hear me? Stay with me, Lawrence. Gonna no. be all right. No. Let me go. Jesus. What is it that you're telling us? Bigby, water. Kitchen. I'm on it. Oh, oh, oh. Buddy has a massive hole in his head. If you have something to ask him, you should do it now. Who did this to you? Wow.
Do you still have that letter? Yes. Should I open it? Won't do him much good now. If it's right. You should. There might be something that helps us. A clue. Or a lead. I need to know. What does it say? I'm sorry. Faith. It's only two words, but he died without seeing them. I'm sorry, too. We need to figure out what happened here and find whoever did this. What are they? Prescription sleeping pills. A gun. Fingerprints? They'll be on the grip and the trigger. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have grabbed it. Matches the caliber of the gun on the floor. When do you think that was taken? Before all this. Still a little sticky. Goodness, what happened to this door? Or is it a bed? Pull out bed? Hopefully they're together now. About all we can hope for at this point. What's up with the knife? The mirror showed me this. Maybe I should have come here first. It's sharp. There's blood on the blade. I just don't understand. Why would someone want to kill him? No, I already looked at this over here, but... Okay, nothing. Dusty. No one's read these in a while. Oh, 
Oh, jeez. Stay here. Scared me. No. Hey, stop. Leave me alone. Oh, I knew it. I knew they were going to do that to me. Get back in here. Oh. Right on. Hey. He's up, Bigby. We're on the same side here. You son of a bitch. Make me run after you. What were you doing back there? Had some questions for Larry. Didn't think it'd go how it did. A man's dead. I know how it looks, but I had nothing to do with that. Then who did? Look, I was just asking him about the girl. That's all. When I mentioned her being dead, he freaked out. I figured someone had told him. How was I supposed to know? Shit. Fucker shot himself right in front of me. I couldn't stop him, man. You're looking for the woodsman, right? I know where he is. My guy says he's holed up at the trip trap. We can go over there right now, the both of us. My employer's looking to ask him a few questions too. Who's your boss? Who's your employer? I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand. Nope. Can't say that I do. Come on. You're coming with me. This could have been easy. Huh. Don't worry. It still is. Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier for you no, to... No, I'm D. He's dumb. <gasps> oh my gosh. You almost looked peaceful. Yep. Except you're lying in a dirty alley. Yep. With an open wound on the back of your head. Yep. Where'd they go? Well, after the one guy hit you, and the other one finished kicking you... That explains the ribs. Then they jumped into a car and drove off. Come on, get up. Guess we're out of options. D mentioned the trip trap. Then that's where we'll go. I'll call a cab. Every time I think I'm getting a handle on what's going on, things just get more complicated. It feels like we're always a step behind. The woodsman is the only lead we've got, and he was one of the last people to see Faith alive. Getting some answers out of him will start to clear things up. I hope you're right. Bigby, be honest with me. Who do you think did this? I know it's still early, but I just feel a step behind. I do think it was probably the pimp, though. Feeling. Faith was in trouble, afraid of someone. I need to find out who might be whoever she was working for. There's still a lot of questions. We find the woodsman, figure out what he knows, and go from there. 
Makes sense. That's probably the best approach. All right. Thanks for your help. Thanks I wish you. there was. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. That's so funny. Go ahead. Or, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's. It's nothing. I just. You're losing her, Big B. All this today, there are fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. We pay so much attention to the residents of the woodlands. You forget there's a whole community out there to serve. Who? Prostitution. I, I wish there was more we could do. This isn't how I thought it would be. But Crane runs things his own way. Crane is the one to blame here, not you. Obviously, you don't know what I do all day. Right now, I'm the gatekeeper, making sure none of these disenfranchised folks are, as he puts it, wasting his time. I'm more to blame than anyone. You'll fix it. I don't know. It's just a broken system. The fables who walk in through the back door like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for anything, needing help. Well, I turn you away. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse. Maybe this isn't for me. I thought public service was pure. You'll figure it out. Oh. You'll figure it out. You're better than I am with this political stuff. Well, that's not saying much. I trust you to make the right decision. I hope you're right. Maybe you should handle this one. Yeah, maybe I should. <laughs> Big B. I um, just be careful, please. Always. Always. She didn't look too happy to see us. What do you want, Sheriff? It was in the neighborhood. I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. So I guess you can go now. Look, I'm not even going to ask where he is now, okay? I just want to know the last time he was here. That's all. Who? I'm being nice. So try again. He hasn't been here for a few weeks. Why? No, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, he hasn't been here in a while, if he's been here at all, which... I don't know. I'd just like some help, and I'll be out of here. Well, I'd be willing to help you out of here. 
Would that help? Clever, clever. Whose is that? Someone who left. Why didn't you dump it? If you want a cleaner place, feel free to get the fuck out of here. I'm sensing a very hostile tone from you. Don't deny it, but I'm good at picking up on this stuff. A lot of these walk out the door? Yeah, it's called advertising. He get a refund? Fuck you. The <laughs> word's getting out. Let me solve the mystery for you. They're pickled eggs. Oh, I know what they are. I'm just trying to figure out why anyone would eat this. Damn. Or sit next to him. A lot of stools in this place. Only one next to you. But there's only one right next to you. You gonna order something? Or are you just here to bother my customers? You know what I mean. <laughs> Give me a Midas gold. You want a lime? Please. Sure. I think they have some at the bar down the street. <laughs> think that's funny? Yep. Think it's fucking hilarious. It was all right. It did. It made me laugh too. This is serious, Holly. Harboring a fugitive is going to get you in as much trouble as he's in. You could lose everything. Who's it going to be? Love that sign, also. Paper towels and uh... saved your beer for you. Holly wanted to clear it, but uh, I said no. He'll be back. Now, here you are. You and me have been going at it for hundreds of years. I'm through fighting. Well, Woody, that makes two of us. You're in luck. I decided to switch seats. It's been a long fucking day, and I'm starting to get a little cranky. I've got questions, and I'm not leaving without answers. Maybe he don't want to talk to you. Why don't we let him tell me that? Okay, Grant. funny. Just a minute ago, no one seemed to know who you were. Yeah, well, everyone knows you. Big bad wolf. <laughs> no, I'm the bad guy and you're a sheriff. What kind of fucking world is that, huh? Not exactly comfortable with it either, but 
Hey, you play the hand you're dealt. Well, some folks are forced to play with shit. That's a lovely image. Guess you want to know about the girl. Amongst other things, sure. I'd walk past her place for weeks. She didn't look like it. She had money. I was sure of it. She wouldn't put up any kind of fight. <laughs> I was gonna rob her. And the night I finally get up the nerve to do it, there you are, fucking things up for me. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. I wasn't there to save her. So, you were planning on robbing her? Yeah, her and her grandma. Grandma? Wait, what are you talking about? Red Riding Hood, her grandmother. I was there to rob him. But when I showed up, you were already there, lying in the bed. I only saved her because I thought she might give me a reward. But she didn't give me shit, except a bunch of people thinking I'm something I ain't. I played along wow. as long as I could. Only thing I managed to get from it was a free drink every now and again. How the good that did. I already know this story, Woody. You should. You were there. I'm not talking about Red Riding Hood. I'm here about Faith. She was murdered. What? Faith? Who's that? The girl you were beaten on this morning. No, 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 no. I, I was here. I swear. It doesn't look good when a girl you were just smacking around shows up dead hours later. She's dead? Big B, listen, I... I'm a piece of shit, okay? I know that. I hit that girl. I did. I, I shouldn't have, but I didn't kill her. You believe me, right? I do believe you. String me up, Bigby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. He was here. That's the fucking truth, Sheriff. You see? Bigby, please. Y you can't. They'll throw me down the witching well, that's what they'll do. And I didn't do it. You know that. Hey, stop! This isn't what I want. Oh, shut the fuck up, Woody! Shit ain't just about you. It's about this fucking lapdog. When they come sniffing around this part of town when the rich fucks in the woodlands need a shakedown. Ain't that right, Bigby? It's not like that. There are problems with the way things go, I get it. But that's got nothing to do with what's happening right now. Holly's sister goes missing. No one gives two shits about her. Paperwork, waiting rooms, and that bitch Snow White looking mm. right past me, then ushering me out the fucking door. Anyone tell you you've got a big fucking mouth? Oh, it gets bigger. I'm trying to be cordial. I really want to be... Oh, good. What is that? You should have walked out of here when you had the chance. Come on, you're scaring the lady. Don't worry about me. I was really... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh. Gosh, dang. Yeah, he ate that. <laughs> that did not affect him. Goodness. Talk about a long day. Long two days, I guess. Oh, the wolf is coming out.
Goodness gracious. He's had enough. Walk away. We'll walk away. I didn't start it either. <laughs> pay for the drink. Shit. It's not like you were going to pay for it anyway. Don't even think about it. Is this the type of treatment I can expect if I let you take me in? Hey, he started it. Yeah, you know that. All right, I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl name. This way. Fuck, man. That's not necessary. Shit. He's the one you want, not me. Your brother won't be saving you this time. Come on. You're under arrest. I told you I didn't do it. And you got nothing to worry about. Sketchy, what's gonna happen now? Do anything stupid, and I'll throw you down the witching well myself. Oh no, not beauty. Yeah, Beast is gonna hate me. No, no, not snow. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. We had something very special. Where's your brother? Fuck you! Give me one good reason I should tell you anything. Serial killer. Oh, oh my. A serial killer? Oh god, and it's one of us. Wait, the woodsman's still walking the streets. We've got to put a lid on this. If you can't manage it, I'll find someone who can. I found out where she's been staying. I know she's here. You must have seen her. What are the two of you hiding? Thanks. Not saying anything. Doesn't matter. Maybe you just want to punch someone. We can arrange that. 
What did you do? Friend on friend. At the end of the end. Jesus Christ, baby. Is that you? Wow. <clears throat> All right, let's see here. Eighty-four percent of people give uh, their money to faith, or give yeah, give your money to faith. Nineteen stayed out of it. Wow, it's not a lot at all. Had to go help Toad first. Absolutely, had to. I like Toad, and we busted his his, his car up, and we did not prevent his death. Oh man. Who is your prime suspect? Yeah, of course we had to. We know, I feel like the woodsman didn't do it, so definitely let him go. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it. And be sure to come back for episode two. Figure out what's, uh, what's exactly is going on here.